All right, so so many of you out there want to know what do I do to warm up before any workout? Well, today I'm going to run through it for you. First thing you're going to do is 10 prisoner squats. This is done by lacing the hands behind the head, pinching the shoulder blades, and then dropping your butt below your knee so the crease of the hip is below the knee and standing back up. So the next thing you're going to do is 10 quick jumping jacks. Just make sure your arms stay straight, touch at the top, and don't lollygag, get after it pretty quick. Next thing is gonna be seal jacks. Seal jacks are just having your arms straight out in front of you and whipping them back, just stretching that chest. Foot work stays the same. And then you're gonna go right into a coordination check where you're gonna cross your arms and your feet and alternate them um, as you cross them. 10 of those two. The next thing you're gonna do is a low pogo. We're just warming up the Achilles and the calves and you're gonna do 10 to 15 of these and then right into a uh, high pogo, which is just a higher higher demand on the calves and the Achilles, um, and do 10 to 20 of those. The next thing we're gonna do, I call a Frankenstein walk to a ground touch. So you're gonna kick your foot up, touch it with your opposite hand, and then go down, touch the ground. This is gonna help you with uh, stretching that hamstring, just a dynamic stretch for the hamstring, and then um, also gonna help with your balance. Go down, touch the ground. Try not to touch that foot that you're swinging um, between each rep. Try to just keep that foot off the ground for 10 reps. Make sure you do both sides. The next thing we're gonna do is what I call the world's greatest stretch. You're gonna step back, big lunge, and put a hand on the ground, and then you're gonna go inside your leg, keeping that back leg straight. You should feel this in uh, your back leg hip flexor. Keep that chest tall, head up, and you only have to hold it for three to five seconds. Then you're gonna push, you're gonna swing that arm around that front foot, so you have a hand on either foot, on either side of that front foot. Bring that toe up and then push back and try and straighten that front leg. It's gonna stretch that hamstring. Then the last thing you're gonna do is go into a lunge position, reach for the ceiling or reach for the sky and flex that butt and really stretch that, that hip flexor. And then last but not least, you're gonna get a little bit of a back stretch. You're just gonna to twist towards the knee and get a little bit of stretch there then just switch. You want to do each side two to three times. Um, I suggest the more warm up the better. The last thing we're gonna do is warm up the shoulders. Now the important part of this is you wanna make sure you keep your shoulders back and pinch your shoulder blades together and pull your shoulders away from your ears. Okay, you don't wanna be in a shrug position when you're doing these arm circles. You're gonna do 20 small arm circles forward and then 10 really big ones. Now you're trying to make as big a circles as you can pinching your shoulder blades in the back, reaching for the sky, bringing them together in the front. Then you're gonna reverse it. You're gonna do 20 reverse circles, small, and then 10 really big reverse circles. The last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna reach for the sky and you're gonna do 20 circles inwards and 20 circles outward. And then you're gonna be ready for a workout. We've covered everything from the Achilles, the calves, the hamstrings, the hip flexors, the back, and the shoulders. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes if you whip through it. 
and then you're ready for any workout. You should be primed for any workout.